Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an outline around any object using free web design application called Canva. In this example, the outline is red, but it doesn't have to be red, it can be any color. The process of creating it will be the same. If you are a beginner designer or if you are in print-on-demand industry and you have to work with designs frequently, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel as there is a lot of useful information for you. And now let's begin our tutorial. Here I am at canva.com and I have already set up my blank space where I'm going to be designing. And the first thing you need to do, you need to upload your image into Canva. I have already done that, but you can do it by going to this upload tab and clicking upload files button. One thing that I'd like to mention first is that in this tutorial we are going to be working with an image that does not have any background around it. This is quite important. If you have an image that still has background around it, you will need to remove the background first. If you don't know how to do it, I have a video on this subject and I'm going to post a link in the description, so go ahead and check it out. And in this video, we are working with this image that does not have any background around it. Once you upload your image into Canva, it will appear here in the Uploads tab. Then you simply need to click on it and Canva will transfer it onto your design space. Now I have two here, so I'm going to delete one and start working on the other one. Next, we are going to create an outline around it. First, I'm going to click on it so that Canva selects this image and then I will click Edit Image. Once you click Edit Image, Canva will show you this panel with all sorts of tools and effects that you can use to change and alter your image. And today we will need to work with this shadows effect. If you do not immediately see shadows here, you can simply type shadows into the search bar and Canva will find this effect for you. Click on it. And here you will see a variety of shadow effects. Today we are going to work with this glow effect. So let's click on glow. And once you click on glow, you will see that Canva creates this glow shadow effect around the image. It's, it's a nice looking effect, but it's not what we are looking for because we need an outline and a shadow is not exactly an outline. So we are not going to click apply just yet because once you click apply, Canva finalizes the result and you cannot change it anymore. Instead, we are going to click on these three settings bars. And here we can work with our glow effect. We can change it, change the color, change transparency, and that's exactly what we are going to do. First, I would like to change the color from black to another one because our design is black and the black effect is going to be invisible with black design. So let's change it to red so there is some contrast. And the next thing we are going to do, we are going to turn blur to zero. And once you do it, Canva removes blur from the shadow effect. So it becomes less transparent. And after that, we are going to turn transparency to 100. And interestingly enough, once you turn transparency to 100 in Canva, it means that there is no transparency. So now we have solid outline around our object. I would like the outline to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to turn size to maybe eight or maybe even 10. Yes, I like 10. It's up to you what size you need. So there you can turn, turn it all the way up to 40 and have a very thick outline. And for me, I think 10 is just enough. So now I'm happy with the result and I'm going to click apply so that Canva finalizes this result. It may ask you to click apply again. So I'm going to do that. And then it takes a few seconds for Canva to actually finalize this result. And now it's done. We have our outline around the object. And all we need to do is to download the file. For that, you are going to click share and then download. Here you can choose either PNG or JPEG. 
and I want transparent background. I do not want any white color around my object. I want just the object itself. So I'm going to choose PNG, transparent background and download. And that's it. My design is being downloaded and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I will see you again. Please do subscribe.